You might be thinking, it's the day before Thanksgiving. There can't possibly be a ton of cruise news. But you would be wrong as Carnival Mega Ships are set to make their first calls ever to two ports on the opposite sides of the world, essentially. Plus, another cruise line is asking you to bring out the bucks if you want that sweet, sweet lobster. And a pretty naughty game it seems to be making a return on board Royal Caribbean ships. All that plus a little bit more. Let's roll the intro. Hey, hey, and welcome to the Midships Channel. I'm your Captain Corey, and thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. Welcome here to the Columbus, Ohio Midships Studio. I'm spending an early Thanksgiving here with Mama Midships. Got the turkey in the oven right now, so I'm recording this kind of quickly. I gotta get over there and eat. But we got a lot of cruise news to get into, and probably the big news of the day. Why don't we talk about the Carnival Celebration? Because right now, she is making her very first port of call in the Caribbean, and guess where? One of the best ports of all time, of course, Grand Turk at the Turks and Caicos. Yeah, the beautiful emerald blue and green waters, sapphire blue, whatever you wanna call it. It's a wonderful, amazing port, really lush there. Now remember, Grand Turk is the port that took a direct hit this year from one of the hurricanes, I forget her name. It was one of the hurricanes that struck this year. It damaged the pier, but fortunately they were able to repair the damage. And now, Carnival's newest pride of their fleet, the celebration, is there with guests enjoying the sandy beaches, the flow rider, all of the lazy river and free pool accommodations that you can find there up in Grand Turk. So what a great day. If you're there on the celebration cruising, well, I'm jealous of you. Hope you have a wonderful day out there in Grand Turk. And you know what would make your day even more wonderful no matter what cruise you're on? Well, if you had some of the amazing items from my Amazon cruise store, it's the best way to support this channel while getting something for yourself that you know is gonna be the best product on Amazon for your next cruise. Check it out, there's a link in the description below. Now let's talk about the other mega ship from the Carnival Corporation making an inaugural call today. And this one, it's the Aida Cosmo. Yeah, it's that cruise line with the weird kissing lips on the front of their ships. If you watched for a while, you know I hate those paint jobs on those ships. But she is making her inaugural call over in Dubai now. So pretty cool stuff. Carnival's got the globe covered on all sides, it seems like right now. They've got Australia, Dubai, obviously the UK with some of their UK brands and over here in the States with the Carnival brand itself. So pretty cool news coming from Carnival, some giants of the seas, that's a Royal Caribbean term. Some giant mega ships are out there and uh, yeah, you could be cruising on them. How about that? Now, while we've got Carnival on our mind, we need to talk about why you're gonna pay for lobster on your next Carnival cruise. Yeah, we just talked about the Symphony of the Seas for Royal Caribbean, testing a menu that they charge you $16.99 for your second, second lobster tail. That's right, that is an update to yesterday's midships episode. I believe I quoted it per lobster tail, but it is per lobster tail after your first lobster tail that you'll receive that $16, $17 charge. Now Carnival, we reported about a week or two ago, they're making some changes in the dining room as well, where they're gonna start charging you five bucks, six bucks, for additional dinner plates after your second, which means your third, fourth, and fifth lobster tail, well, you're gonna pay for those on Carnival. Yeah, it's just something that you need to be aware of. If you're someone like me who likes to say, hey, just scoop a couple extra lobster tails on that plate tonight. I'm feeling a little hungry, I'm a little saucy. No, you gotta pay now, so just keep that in mind for your next Carnival cruise. And why not keep the Carnival theme going and let's head to the west coast of the US over to the port of Long Beach. Guests cruising on the Carnival Miracle have been met with an email telling them, you gotta make your own parking arrangements because we don't have enough spots. Now you might know that Carnival has three ships currently home ported in the port of Long Beach, the Radiance, the Panorama, and the Miracle. Now the Panorama is kind of that flagship cruise ship out there. She's still almost brand new and it's currently offering seven day itineraries. The Radiance is offering four day itineraries and the Miracle, again, another short itinerary cruise 
four nights, kind of down to that Catalina Ensenada experience. It's not clear if Carnival's looking to limit parking for the other two ships there, the Panorama and the Radiance, but so far they are limiting it for those of you sailing on the Miracle. Now they haven't really given us a reason as to why they don't have enough parking. Maybe they have too many ships. Maybe there's more people driving to the cruise than ever because flights are so darn expensive and hard to get and you can't count on them to arrive on time. We don't know, but that's the case going down on the West Coast for those of you cruising on the Carnival Miracle. If you're on the Radiance or the Panorama in the next few weeks, Keep your fingers crossed you don't get the same email. Norwegian Cruise Line is making some changes to their policy that allows crew members to rub elbows with those of us who are just passengers. Oftentimes on a lot of cruise lines, the crew members are able to get dressed up, wear their name tags, and go out and enjoy some of the amenities on the ship, like the paid specialty dining restaurants. I know Carnival crew members can do that. Royal Caribbean crew members can do that. Not sure that I've seen MSC crew members doing anything beyond the buffet, but that might be the case for them. You gotta do some investigation. But Norwegian is taking the privilege away for almost all but the highest ranking crew members on board the ship. They will now have to request and be approved to enjoy the public spaces on Norwegian's cruise ships. One popular but a little bit naughty activity that left Royal Caribbean because of the pandemic is now back. It's called the Quest or the Ultimate Quest and Royal Caribbean cruisers are reporting that they've seen it aboard several of their cruise ships. I actually have my laptop out so I can give you the exact list. Guests on recent sailings on the Brilliance, Enchantment, Mariner and Grandeur of the Seas have reported seeing the game show, The Quest, back in action on board these ships. Now this is an adults only game show it can get pretty suggestive. It's like a scavenger hunt through the ship. You're likely to see people's bras and underwears getting thrown on the stage. So yeah, kids, don't go to the Quest game show, but it's likely to make a return across the rest of the Royal Fleet here in the coming weeks or months. So, you know, maybe check those cruise ship forums on Cruise Critic or Facebook pages of recent sailings to see if the Ultimate Quest is back on your ship. I think I remember there were some photos that surfaced of a congressperson. I think it was the congressman or former congressman from South Carolina, Madison something or other. He did a Royal Caribbean cruise way back before he ran for office and the photos surfaced of him. So just be careful if you think you ever have a future in public office. You probably should avoid this game show or at least, you know, wear a mask so they can't tell it's you. I am hosting a group cruise aboard Carnival's newest ship, the one we talked about earlier, the Celebration. It all goes down June 11th of next year, leaving for Miami for six nights on the Midships Miami Nights group cruise. If you'd like more information, check out the description below this video. There's a link to a Facebook page that my travel agent has set up. She can quote you, let you know what it might cost to get on board this ship. The prices are currently really good. You should check it out. Thanks so much for stopping by the channel today. And until next time, happy Thanksgiving and we'll see ya on the midships. Thank you all so much for stopping by and putting up with this big echoey room here. We will be back in the midship studio tomorrow. I'm catching the red eye flight out of Columbus tonight. I land, I think around midnight in Orlando. So we'll see you from the regular digs starting tomorrow. If I don't see you before then, or you don't check in before then, Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family, your friends, and your loved ones. Hopefully you get to enjoy a little bit of time off with some fellowship with loved ones and someone special in your life. We'll see you tomorrow.